Isn't it wonderful that the Gospels are so honest about Peter, about his triumphs and his successes, and about his human failings? What a wonderful gift to all of us that we can know Peter. He is open to God. And when Jesus says, who do you think I am? He says, well, you're the Messiah in a moment of divine inspiration. And he says he's ready to go with Jesus to the uttermost. Jesus says, you will all abandon me. And Peter says, I'm not going to abandon you. I will follow you to your death. And then as Jesus is brought before the authorities and people say, are you his disciple? Do you know him? Peter denies him three times. Now the key to understanding this, I think really comes from Luke and comes from John. Luke tells us that after Peter denied Jesus, Jesus looked at him and had eye contact with him and they saw one another. And within that moment, Peter knew what Jesus had foretold was true. And, and Jesus had said one thing that was so important at the Last Supper. He said to Peter, you will deny me. Satan has desired to shake all of you up. But you, Peter, after you have turned, you will come back. And he, when he says that to Peter, he's telling him that forgiveness is possible, even for this. And then he says to Peter, and when you have repented, then you strengthen your brethren. What an example for everyone. If Peter, who denied Jesus, Peter, who was the closest disciple, denied Jesus three times and could be forgiven, then we know that God's forgiveness is without limit.